Greetings students and scientists and today we are beginning the next big review on the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at the one series that has got a lot of people be a bit preoccupied but was the one series that brought not only Headmaster back but Gazolt's but combined as like Superion over there back into mainstream. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Prime Wars Trilogy starting with what Combiner Wars stuff myself and Blaze on Gaming own. So the figures you have here before you are some custom and some non-custom Transformers. In fact, this was my first, this was my second custom, this is Blaze One Gaming custom. So we're going to start with the more recent one. This is Combiner Wars Blackjack for Minasaur, and as you can see, he's a very lovely Corvette. The purples and the blacks and the very nice gold. And he does roll, okay-ish, um, wheels do turn, and he does come with the only accessory, which is... Just a little weapon. Now, this is basically his, um, Kabata Mode. He fits into the chest of what is Minasaur. But to transform him into his robot mode, you, again, we'll have to ignore the squeaking. We'll have to untap his arms and bring, and just move them out of the way. Because this will allow us to bring the hood, untap the legs, bring the entire hood of the car, and while you're doing it, fold out his shoulders, then bring this to his back, fold this all the way down to reveal his head, rotate his arms around, and here you've got little Black Jack in his robot mode, and he's very cute for a small Combiner Wars class figure. And then you can take his weapon and plop it into his hand. Articulation wise, his head can swivel side to side. Arms can do a full 360 and go in and out. You get a swivel at the elbow, bend at the elbow, just gives you about 90 degrees, nothing at the hands, nothing at the waist. Feet go up that far, go back that far, unfortunately due to the roof of the car. 90 degrees of knee, bend at the knee, and you can do the splits. So that was Combiner Wars. So that was one of the things that Combiner Wars did. These small, which were small figures, which were eventually carried on to Power of the Primes and Titans Return. Which we'll see later. But Deluxes came next, and you had to collect multiple different Deluxes to get a full... Spiner. Now I do have two Voyagers. This is Onslaught here, obviously. I do have a, a Silver Bob, but unfortunately his Superior on head is broken. So we're going to start with the Mirage Recustom, known as Sunset Fire Blast. Now this is a OC of mine called Fire Blast, who was originally a Lambo body, but as I couldn't get a, uh, another, as this is Blaze One's Combiner Wars side uh, Sunstreaker, I couldn't really get another one. And uh, both myself and Blaze One purchase these to build the team. Uh, this is actually one of my purchases that I made. I oh, know. Be afraid. And as you can see, Sunset Mirage is a orange sunset-like, um, badly damaged, painted, chip, chipped, um, recolor Mirage. So to transform Mirage into his robot mode, you need to take this and rotate it down and bring it back because there is a a hole right up there. It's going to go into this post here. Bring up his arms and untab them from the sides of his legs. Bring his elbows up. And then use the little tab on the back of his hand to bring out his well, hands. Now I no longer have any of the weapons for these figures because they have been well, lost. Hold down his legs and rotate his waist around. Bring them out. And they've got Mirage in his robot mode. And yes, young Duncan was not a very clean painter. But do remember, I was well, at the time I was using an airbrush, so you actually see it, it improved on this figure. Now you can actually do whatever you want with the um, these here. But as you can see, Mirage was a very interesting and really good one before we got the Wolf of Cybertron one. And articulation-wise, his head is on a very flimsy... An awkward ball joint. Uh, this tab here. If you can look up really far. Sorry. Arms can do a full 360. You can go in and out. As well as up and down. Do transformation. You get a bend at the bicep. Bend at the bicep. Bend at the elbow. A little bit of wrist articulation due to transformation. Waist articulation. Forward that far. Bend at the knee. Back that far. Nothing at the feet. And of course, you can do the splits. Now, to get him into his foot mode, you need to re-transform him part way. Now, 
And you want to keep him basically like this. Bring this. Bring this part forward. And then you're going to come in here and you're going to put some pressure on the combiner pull. Um, for me, I like using the Prime Wars feet and hands. And you just take this post here and you plug it into here. And there you go. Sunset Mirage, now in his robot mode. Sunstreaker is a very lovely yellow Lamborghini before we got Earthrise. And I quite liked him. Transformation wise, you want to bring up the windshield, bring down the back, unfold this part and bring it up, take his arms and legs. You're basically going to unsqueeze and bring everything down. Fold down the feet, fold down the rear spoiler, untab his arms. And then you basically bring up the shoulder pad here. Because that's going to basically allow you to... Oh, I'm going to bring this out. Because you basically now got to get everything lined up. Bring this down. Bring this down. And there you go. It's side swipe. Uh, I think, actually, I've got this wrong. Uh... Yeah, the sideswipe is a not sideswipe. Sunstreaker is a bit of awkward, a bit awkward, I've got to be honest. Because you get the chest into place, and then you've got to basically wrestle the this whole part in. But basically, that's what he's supposed to look like, just a bit more flash and flash down. And articulation-wise, as he was on the ball joint, arms go up and down, back and forth. In and out, double bend at the elbow due to transformation. You do get a little bit of waist articulation, but due to the way that the side swipe uh, sun tricky here has a very awkward thing, you know, swivel at the uh, hip and knee, bend at the knee, and nothing at the feet. So I'm going to get him out of this mode because he looks like he's screaming. So basically, if you want to get him into the combiner mode, you're going to have to fold that assembly back up, and bring this down, fold down the elbows. Fold up the arms and bring him back basically like you did with Mirage into car mode. Almost. Come on. I do apologize for the weird camera angles. Bring up the feet and the fins. And basically, you're going to get everything all nice and squozen. Like with Mirage, you're going to get the combiner boner out. And bring in. Another Prime Wars, Prime, Power of the Primes thing. And there you've got the feet. So moving on to the arms, we have a very interesting thing. Hasbro would re-release um, Blast Off here, although this is now uh, uh, Dracorn, in jet mode rather than a space shuttle mode. And as you can see, it's not that bad. Oops, clicking button. So a very lovely jet mode, and Blaze One did a really good job painting it black and purple. There's the underside. Of course, it comes with the land again, which you can fold up. Now, get him into his robot mode. You need to fold back the wings, bring up the arms. Now, one problem with this model is uh, this arm is extremely loose. Unfold the legs. And basically, you're going to fold out, fold the knees like this way, and bring up and tab them in. Untap the legs, bring up the tail fin, and fold in the horizontal stabilizers. Take the back, the nose cone, and the front assembly, and bring down the head. And there you got blast off. Now, I've got to be honest, the jets were kind of a big, um, were kind of eh, because really. They worked well, all of the Combiner Wars figures really worked well in only two of the modes. Um, for the cars, it was the cars and the uh, limbs. And for the jet planes, it was the planes and the limbs as well. The robot modes kind of had to just suffer, as you can see. There's no way to hide this part. Articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint. It's going to do a 4360. You can look up, and in fact, you can do Superman. 
Uh, arms can go do four three sixty. They can go up on this joint and down that on that joint. Be like, but shot me, but shot me arm. You get a swivel at the elbow and a bend at the elbow. Nothing at the wrist. Articulation at the very weirdly proportioned waist. Legs go forward that far. These love to one tab. Bend at the knee. Swivel at the knee. Uh, swivel at the thigh. And go back that far. And you can do the full spread. Splits. Now to get them into hand mode, you just got to tap the legs in. Rotate this around to whichever way you want the arms, uh, the waist to face. Bring the arms up and fold them down over the back of the kibble. Back of the robot mode. And then push down on the head to reveal the combiner boner. And then take blast offs um, hand here. This is the Prime Wars hand. That doubled it as the weapon and the foot. Uh, that's its foot mode with that pushed in. And you basically take it and you plug it into this pot spot here. And there you've got an arm. Delta Care is another custom of mine. In fact, as you can see, a lot better. And I based them off the MiG-21. Unfortunately for me, mine came with a bit of a broken nose. I was originally going to uh, plasticine to make it look like a MiG-21's nose. Uh, and then went to stuff it. So as you can see, he is uh, his very gorgeous jet. Which I believe is his... This is um, a Harrier. And again, much the same as that, so transformation-wise, we'll bug standard, bring the nose and cone up, bring the wings up, fold in the stabilizers, bring the tail fin back, untap the arms, bring them up, untap the arms, bring them up, fold the head down, untap the legs, so that you can get them into the, the mode, fold the legs, fins back up, untap them from there and make sure everything gets lined up enough that you can squeeze them in and there you go there's Daltic. now Daltic, of course is a character of mine that is a fictional character and uh, in this in the combiner wars continuity his team got murdered to death um and thus he was reassigned for use with onslaught and the new records so yep so to get him into our mode basically just Repeat the same processes as you did with, um, Drake and Cannon here. Now, who remembers the, um, Machinima show that they did for this? I did. That was back when Machinima was good. So, for those of you who do not know, um, Hasbro reached out to... Online producers uh, Machinima, who did the animations for Prime Wars Trilogy. This isn't the first time that they've done something for, um, by the way, this is what Mirage's hand came with. This isn't the first time that they did this. So, you've got limbs, you need a torso now. Onslaught here. As you can see, he's an updated rendition of his missile, uh, his armor truck carrying form. Very lovely. We get this lovely blue, bluish grey, such. Yep, the uh, back mounted kibble can actually articulate, and uh, he can go pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. So, transformation wise, you want to stand him up. You want to come to the legs. Because, you want to untap them, fold them up, and then rotate them around. Once you've done that, you're going to come back here, unfold the heel spur, bring the foot down. Now, there is a thing that this is meant to tab into. I forget. Second verse, much like the first. Down and up. Bring the arms down. It's really the shoulders. Now, this guy has actually been in combined mode for quite some time. Bring the cockpit down. I believe he's actually based off a Russian uh, missile carrier there. Udaz or Uez or something like that. But here we go. We've got Onslaught in his robot mode. And he is looking gorgeous. As we all know, Onslaught is a very, very non-aggressive dude. And 
really dislikes a lot of people. You can see the greens, you can see the silvers, and of course the blacks, along the purples, and the gun middle grey. And the downside is he does carry the kibble. Articulation wise for him, his head can rotate. Uh, I can't look up that far because he's not on the water. The arms can sort of do a full 360 if you angle the back bit out of the way. They can go out on this joint here. Swivel at the elbow. You get double, very awkward jointed elbow joint. Nothing at the waist. But legs go forwards on that nice ratchet joint. Back on this ratchet joint. Out. That far, he can do the full splits. You get a very tight swivel at the th uh, upper, the upper thigh, and uh, over a double jointed knee, so he can do some pretty insane poses. So, it's no matter of fact that Onslaught can transform into Bruticus. So, how does one go about acquiring Bruticus as old mode into Bruticus? Well, first of all, fold the chest in, then you rotate the shoulder pads up, unfold this part, and bring the arms up because on this arm, this post here is going to go into his forearm up there. And once you've got that lined up in, in place, bring the... I like to bring this forward because it adds a bit of stability to the arm. Because uh, you're going to rotate the backpack around, by the way. Uh, because you want this whole assembly to face backwards. Second verse with the other arm is much like the first, unfold and fold out, bring up. Now this one comes with the little post up here that's going to turn up there um, as well. And once you've got everything all nice and squoze them, bring this part in. You're going to come to the legs, you're going to rotate them around and bring them up. Fold up the heel and the foot spurs. And there you go. So you're going to take the different parts, you're going to take some trigger, plug them into here. Yes, you could literally interchange, um... <coughs> Excuse me. On stream, on the video, sneeze, oh boy. Yes, you could take any of the Prime uh, Wars combiners, such as Velocitron, Computron, Superior, Bruticus, Devastator, Freddy King, Volcanicus, um, Abominus, and the Generation Sleeks taught uh, Poseidon, King Poseidon. I just know something that's gone right up oh, this arm. There we go. And you can mix some extra the joints like the old G1 figures. And to get everything all nice and squeezy. Now you basically come back and you fold the head down. Bring the backpack up and rotate the guns forward and bring them down. You need to bring the crotch plate down. Fold the shoulder wings in because they're going to tab into place. And there you go. Bruticus. Or, as I like to call him, Ruination. In this more alternate version of Combiner Wars, he is part of the Wreckers. Out of the Reform, because this is 2005 IDW. Not... Things. Now, unfortunately, uh, with Bruticus, he is a bit um, heavy, and you do. Ha it does come down to how you angle and move a lot of the pieces. Um, now, his head is on a ball joint. Can look, do a full 360. Can look up that far. Can look down really far. Each arm is, of course, keeps within some context, so you can do a full 360 on the combiner joint. You get a swivel at the elbow, bend at the elbow and swivel at the wrist, but the only articulation at the wrist, at the hand you get, is the thumb. And you can kind of move them up and down, but it's okay. Legs go, if you move the crotch piece out of the way, it can go forward that far, back all the way that far. You get a very nice bend at the knee. And with the fact that I'm using the Prime Wars joints, when I go into more of that later, uh, it does have articulation there. So that is Bruticus, Skyjack, and those combiners. But one other thing Combiner Wars did was bring back a certain little somebody. You've probably been eyeing this little green tanky boy. I'm wondering which Megatron is it? Well, I will tell you. Now, one of the big surprises of the leader class figures was that not only did we get Autobot Megatron, but 
a Mod Megatron returned back into toy shelves. Now, articulation wise, the only thing that really does is his turret can do a full 360. Now, he is based off the Leopard 2, um, and he can roll with these very thick rubber treats, and these are actual rubber, as you can see. So, let's transform him. First, you want to push down the cannon barrel, uh, like most men suffer, and you want to untab the arms. You also want to untab the legs from the side of the hole. And once you do it, untab everything and make it look like an M. The letter of today is M for Megatron. Rotate it up because it is actually going to help you because you want to unfold and untab these two treads to give them sort of a cyber tank mode. <laughs> Uh, yep. <laughs> now you want to untab the arms and bring them to the side. And at the same time, you want to bring the legs down and the crotch piece up. Fold down the chest. Now, you can display the wheels, uh, the trees, however you want to uh, <coughs> display them. I like to bring them back and then bring them up. Bring the head down. Fold up his hand bits. Fold the cannon bit and rotate his cannon around. Fold up this bit. And we've got... Oh, and you want to fold down the feet. And it's Amada Megatron, who's going to go, Yes, the Minicons. We must fight for the Minicons. And it was a real freaking joy to see Amada Megatron uh, in the flesh for the very first uh, time since I was little. Now, he's not the best, unfortunately, the Combiner Wars Megatron mold doesn't really do well, and the fact that they shard horse did Megatron into all three really saw this be the only redo of Amada Megatron. Uh, in fact, they never did Energon Megatron for Titan's Return, and they never did <laughs> Cybertron Megatron for Power of the Primes. They could have done that easily. Would have been amazing. I mean, Prime got two in um, Titan's Return. But articulation-wise, it might amount of me, uh, depending on how you've got the treads oriented, so if you've got them oriented like how he would do, have them in his debut, he can do, his head can do a full 360. But, and even if I believe if you have them down, yeah, it can still do a full 360. You can look up that far, go, Optimus! Looks down that far, life is no meaning anymore without Prime. Arms can do a full 360, they can go out on these very awkward joints here. Bend at the elbow. Rotation at the elbow. And rotation at the wrist. Rotation at this waist joint is prohibited, but if you move the treads out of the way, you can oh, get a full 360 in there. And detreat them. <laughs> Let's go forward that far. Unfortunately, they're stopped by this waist. And go back that far. Bring the arm out. Bring the side panel out. And you can do a full... Full split. You get a very okay-ish bend at the knee joint. Because, unfortunately, the tread gets in the way. And you get really nothing except for forward movement due to transformation at the foot. So... <sighs> My final thoughts on the Combiner Wars franchise. Now, the Combiner Wars really did one thing for me. And that was reintroduce Combiner Wars, well, the old gassaults of the G1 era, such as Superion, Bruticus, Metasaur, um, Computron, and introduce some new ones, such as Victorian, the first full female one, uh, Transformer, Volcanicus, the second Dinobot Combiner, we're not going to talk about the Beast, or the failed Energon one. Revamps of old characters. Now, unfortunately, Megatron does come with a double uh, split-off gun, but unfortunately, mine decided to fall on Azalea Meadows Gaming uh, one night where she was sleeping, and uh, it broke because of her hard head. Uh, yeah, but fun fact, they also did G2 recolors of some of the Combiners, such as Minosaur, Bruticus, Superion, and I think Devastator. You'd have to double-check. So, final verdict for Commander Wars. It wasn't great, 
but it was all it was good at the time because at the time we got final reboots of several characters it wasn't fully G1 um, and coming up the Universal Thrilling 13s and of course the Movieverse figures in which we had a really shitty Devastator really bloody good now the next one up is going to be Titans Return and that's going to basically be Headmasters and we'll be delving into the never before heard before Japanese toy line as Japan absolutely loved Titans Return um, well, Headmasters in general so this is totally good for saying uh, where is he? Oh, there he is. G1 Superior. So machine. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye!